Well, good Monday morning to you folks. Hopefully you are starting to get adjusted to this bringing forward daylight savings time. Uh, hope you had a good night's rest. Had a good day yesterday. Had a busy day yesterday. Uh, start revival tonight uh, with Brother Jerry Mullins and the congregation at Gibbons uh, Christian Union Church, Gibbons Chapel, out on 32 at Germany Road uh, in Pike County, Ohio. So if you'd like to come out, the service starts at 7 o'clock. And uh, for starting revival, let me read a piece of scripture to you in Psalm 63 this morning. David says in verse 1, O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Did you ever feel like that? In our society today, in our world today, in your world today, in uh, just your home today, just your surroundings. Did you ever just feel like you just you just need God so bad? And maybe you've went for a while, and maybe you've got just a little cold. People don't like to admit that, but it happens. Uh, you've got a little, just a little stale, a little stagnant. Uh, but then when you start saying, God, please search me, try me, know my heart today. Show me if there is anything in me that I need to get rid of. Sometimes that's hard to say. And it's easy to say and hard to do sometimes. But uh, if you ask him, and sometimes even if you don't ask him, he will show you. He's not going to let you walk in the dark. We're not children of the night. We are children of the light. And he will show you uh, the direction you need to take. But I like that. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. <laughs> because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Could read that whole thing, but let's Let's just think about that for a moment. You ever just feel like you need revived? I've heard it said before. I've done a lot of revivals um, in the time I've been preaching. I've heard it said uh, that the preacher doesn't bring the revival in his back pocket. And, and I know in this day of social media, you can find a, a lot of preaching. I like to, I told someone the other day, they probably thought I was crazy when I said it, but uh, I like to listen to preaching. I'm not always that interested in watching preaching <laughs> and watching preachers, um, and I am one. Uh, I would rather just listen, and I don't sit in the church with my eyes closed, but there are times that I'll listen to people, and especially on the radio, you don't have anything to judge that by, but uh, on social media, there are times that I'll look away from how the preacher is delivering the sermon, Sometimes people are more excited about the delivery of the sermon than they are what the man is saying. So I'll look away from it, and if his delivery is wound up but he ain't saying anything, I just, I'm done with it. There's no sense to even watch it for me. I'm not asking that God revive us, that we get all emotional. And that's good if the emotion comes from the Lord. But I'm asking that God revive the inner man. We are living in a dry and thirsty land that he revives us, that it carries us every day. My Uncle Dave used to say he judged a revival on how well the church was doing a month or two months after the meeting. <laughs> Um, because you can tell then that people really have been revived. So let's try this one. We praise thee, O God, for the Son of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now gone above. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory, revive us again. All glory and praise to the Lamb that was slain, who has borne all our sins and has cleansed.
cleansed every stain. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Revive us again. Fill each heart with thy love. May each soul be rekindled with fire from above. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Psalm 85, 6, Wilt thou not revive us again, O Lord? And uh, I believe he will when our heart starts chasing after him. We start looking and longing uh, to not only be right with God. When we are right with God, we act right with God. It changes everything about us. And so my prayer is that not only for this meeting that I will be in, but for us day to day, that God will revive us. It's springtime, maybe a little cold weather coming, maybe a little warmer weather coming, but we know in springtime we start seeing things, what? Revive. Things that we see that have died, they start to revive. And so um, I pray that that happens in your heart today and that that happens in my heart today. That happens in the heart of every pastor uh, out there that uh, they can be a bigger and better encouragement to their congregation as well. We love you, Lord. We thank you for this day that you've given us, God. We pray that you would bless us. Help us to be able to take your word to apply it to our lives. Help us to seek you with our whole heart, for then you will be found of us. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you Tuesday.